sometimes I get the feeling that we're just reteaching this. I think. I think we are. Yes. Because I, I could have sworn I said all this stuff before. Maybe twice. At least. Okay. So, so number 15, actually number 15 now, is how to assign specific oxidation numbers to each of the elements in a given uh, reaction equation or, or a formula or uh, whatever. The skill is exactly the same. Here is a formula, here is a formula, here is a formula. And if you just put a bunch of formulas all together with some pluses and an arrow, then you've got a reaction equation. The skill right. is exactly the same. Right. Of course, we know that this one really does happen. And we picked this example because we just looked at a couple that were ionic uh, equations, ionic compounds. Uh, and this is something that is bonded covalently. Mr. Sustin, how do we know that this is covalently bonded and not ionically bonded? The front row of students in all of my classes would respond quickly mm -hmm. by saying, two non-metals. <laughs> how yes. many times do we have to go over this? Yes. Two non-metals. So uh, oxidation and reduction still can happen with covalently bonded compounds. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not every reaction is reductive yeah. reaction, but it can happen for these yeah. as well. It's a, it's a partial loss and a partial gain of right. electrons because of that tug of war. Right, between um, the, the difference polar. in electronegativity yeah. and the creating polarity polar bonds. and so on. So we're, we're asking you to consider this reaction, and we want to know what the oxidation number is for each element on the left and right. Now, we're going to go through all of them, so you have a couple examples in one. But the, mm -hmm. this last question will ask you about one thing. And I think we should kick the, re the uh, agents in there, too. We should probably oh, do the example. Yes, the yes, we should. We, we did that several times. We skipped that, yeah. OK, so first we need to figure out what are the oxidation numbers of each species. Right. Um, these two are easy because yeah. I studied them. And I and 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 I know that they're part of the magic seven. Mm -hmm. So N two elements. Yes, mm -hmm. N two is a diatomic element, and it's a free element. It's not combined with any other elements yet. And uh, same with oxygen okay. as a neutral or zero oxidation number. So these elements, before they create a compound, have an oxidation state of zero, and then when they're in a compound. Um, there's that tug of war going on with the electrons, and they have a new oxidation number. Right. And the question is, what are the oxidation numbers over here? So we also need to go back to our rules. And we know that there's a rule for oxygen that says 99% of the time, actually because there's only two exceptions, so it's almost always a minus 2 oxidation state. But there are five of them. So in my mind, I'm going to kind of talk out loud how I'm mm -hmm. thinking through this. I'm like, okay, 5 of them at negative 2, that's got to be negative 10. But this is a neutral compound over here, so it's going to balance out to 0. Well, what does that mean for the oxidation number of nitrogen? And you might be thinking, well, geez, why are you guys taking so much time to go over this? But remember, nitrogen is one of those elements that can have several different oxidation states depending on what it's bonded with. And when you look at your periodic table, you'll see that. So we do need to kind of talk through this. Well, I also know from my fast skills at algebra that 10 minus 10, well, it's not even algebra, 10 minus 10 is going to give me 0. So on the positive side, I need something that's plus 10. But there are two nitrogen atoms there. So they have to divvy up that and share that total of oxidation state of 10. That means each one is plus 5. OK. So now we know the oxidation states of everything. Right. And what element was oxidized? Well, uh, we have uh, nitrogen had a zero oxidation number, and it became plus five. Became more positive. It became more positive. So that means it, it feels as though it has lost five electrons. Right. So losing electrons, this oil rig, right. is oxidation. oxidation. So nitrogen, and um, uh, became N with a plus 5, okay. because it feels as though it lost 5 electrons. OK. And we're not balancing here, so don't yeah. worry about the subscripts. Right. And oxygen, then. And so oxygen, if, if, if this one was if nitrogen was oxidized, then the oxygen must therefore have been reduced because 
They're tied together. Oxygen is causing oxidation? What? That's a coincidence. Huh? It uh, must be the oxidizing agent. Yes. We'll get to so, oxy oops. so oxygen starts off neutral, and it must have gained two electrons. And uh, it would be O minus two. Okay. And again, we're treating just an individual element here. Uh, we aren't balancing this, although we could right. easily balance you this by reading. You can go through and, and, you know, with all of this written on the board, at, 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 at this point, you can go through and say, okay, just double everything. So if, if it's two things with plus five, it's ten electrons. This and was it's two, two on that side. And five. this was five. Mm -hmm. So that must have been ten. Right. Ten. So we're really and foreshadowing yeah. to not right. only formula right into balancing, yeah, and, and a lot of you remember this from ninth right. grade. But you know, if that kind of confused you just right there, then stop it and replay it. Or, you know, ask a question in class. Son of a gun. Ask a question in class. Now, uh, we, we've identified this oxidation and reduction. We notice um, after, after we tweaked everything so that the numbers worked uh, uh, properly, we have 10 electrons were lost, and we have 10 electrons were gained. OK, everything's great. Now, what, what we wanted to talk about briefly was the oxidizing agent right. and the reducing agent. Um, the way I explain this to my students is, um, here nitrogen was oxidized. Mm -hmm. It lost electrons. Why did it do that? It lost electrons because oxygen stayed in there begging for electrons. Nitrogen would not have given these electrons away were it not because of oxygen hanging there, hanging around, begging for them. So the oxygen actually caused this oxidation. It caused that oxidation. Because oxygen wanted to gobble up those electrons, it caused nitrogen to lose them. So? Oxygen is the oxidizing agent. agent. And vice versa. And vice versa. Um, oxygen could not have gained these electrons were it not for nitrogen uh, wanting to give them up. Yeah, wanting to give them away. So, so the nitrogen actually made it possible. The nitrogen caused reduction. this reduction. It is the reducing, reducing agent. agent. So that's just you know, swinging way back to the beginning. Uh, and very simply, the agents are opposite of the process that's happening. Yes. But we did want to touch base on that again. Right. So we've really covered like five or six testings right there. Yeah. Which takes us to the last couple.